I spent last weekend in Hungary to attend the Hungarian Grand Prix. In this video we'll be covering our journey there and our time trackside. This is the RCB Adventures at the Hungarian Grand Prix. Our trip to Hungary would actually start with a flight to Vienna, which is not in Hungary. In fact, it's in a completely different country called Austria. Not to be confused with Australia, which is also a different country. next morning we got up and walked to pick up the car that would carry us to our destination of Hungary. Oh, yeah, you know. Yeah. Got a free newspaper. What do you think of this place? It's lovely. Yeah, it's yeah. really nice. Lots of fish, isn't there? Yeah, is there? I haven't seen lots of pictures of fish. No actual fish. Oh, there's another one there. Look at the fish. Oh, I think I missed it. The van was in the way. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh fish. Fishing heck. Oh, yes. 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 So here is a lovely free newspaper that I picked up in the town, and Tay here is translating. So Tay, can you tell us what that lovely headline there means, please? Oh yeah, it, it's um. Well, this is obviously the name of some kind of business. Yeah. And um, he's either the boss or the chef. Yeah. Uh, and he wants. Um, he wants a shotgun for the zoo. He, he wants a shotgun for the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> We're learning the local news. A chef yeah, wants yeah, a yeah. shotgun and, for the zoo. And, the, and then this was yeah. uh, the, the drugs were found on this supermodel's private jet. Oh my god. So, uh, I just say oh, Gigi, it's Gigi Hadid. That probably Hadid. actually is right. Yeah. Uh, Gigi Hadid. Who's that? You don't know who Gigi Hadid? No. Oh. Who's Gigi? Do you know who Gigi Hadid is? No. No. She's um, a supermodel. Oh, she's. Oh, 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 really? oh, right. Who told you that? I just knew that. And she wants a shotgun for the zoo. No, no, no. Oh, That's no. unrelated. To oh, this. oh. Schön means beautiful. No, no, no. It's more like beautiful bum chef. Beautiful bum chef wants shotgun for the zoo. Yeah, wants will. Yeah, well, I, think that's, I think that's the name zoo. of a business. But Schön means beautiful. Well, yeah, but I think that's the name of a business. And that's beautiful the local bum. headlines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Beautiful bum, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah, but you, I don't think you, you don't translate it if it's the name for a business. Yeah, yeah, that's what it means though, isn't it? Well, that's, I just, it doesn't matter. Why that's why they, that's business, why they named it. Why would you call your business Beautiful Bum Chef? I'd like that. If I made a business, I'd, I'd a beautiful I'm, bum. I'd be a chef. Yeah, but I'm not going to... That's what's holding you back. <laughs> if I made a business in the UK, yeah. I'm not going to translate it to German, am I? I'm just saying that's what it's taught, that's what the name, that's the origin. Yeah, but you wouldn't call your business Beautiful Bum Chef. I just think that's what they origin, that's what they thought when they were thinking, what should no, we No, 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 I think, I think it's this you they were thinking You've got a beautiful about. bum and you're a chef. Okay. Let's just call it that. So why, why do they want a shotgun for the zoo? <laughs> Where's the rest of the story? <laughs> Find the story. I think it's on page seven. 
Oh, there's some good the deals there. Oh, feeler. Did you see the deals? Yeah. Mm. 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 Oh. Well, where's the beautiful bum, Chef? Yeah. Yeah. I better show a picture of that bum, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't think they so we can like. judge it ourselves. Oh, yeah. There he is! Look, there's his shotgun for the zoo! Alright, here we go. Right, there he is! Where's that's his the, bum? That's the beautiful bum shot. There is a shotgun, yeah. yeah, yeah it's a shotgun for the zoo. They're not really showing off his bum though, are they? It's got I guess a 44 they, Magnum there. I guess they probably don't want to show that off, do they? Because that kind of... That's, that's, that's what they pay for in the restaurants. There's a negative at the moment. Yeah. A a negative. Beautiful Look at Jaguar. He wants to kill it. We could go see a polar bear in Budapest. It's a busy. I wonder what that time it closes. Maybe they do a nighttime visit. We can do a nighttime visit of the zoo. Of the zoo. I'll have a look for you, Reese. I know you wanted to see that polar bear. Right, so oh, we go. it's a weapon dispute. Uh, the zoo boss uh, wants to be able to shoot animals in an emergency. Why is he a beautiful chef? Bum, bum chef. What's that to do with it, though? I don't think so. Oh, we've got to go that one, okay? And that's the headlights. <laughs> And after getting our fill of local news, we hit the road. The road to Hungary. James, what country are we in? Hungary. Yeah, I'm starving! Trip, we would see a few interesting things. Wow. A very slow period, but such good music for it as well. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. But eventually we made it to the Hungara Ring on the Thursday where we would attend what is called the High Speed Test which is a mix of two events. Firstly, where you sit in the main grandstand and watch the safety car go around the track. Unfortunately, we were a bit too late for this one and did miss it, but we did get to attend the second part of the event, which is when you walk down the grid, then down the pit lane. But not before the most important part, standing in a massive crowd in 30 degree heat until you melt to death.
after exploring the pit lane and the grid, we made our way into Budapest to find our accommodation for the weekend. And this is when our tale takes a turn, as the people who we'd booked to stay with had in fact double booked and completely ghosted us, leaving us homeless in Budapest. Eventually we were able to find somewhere very last minute to stay for the weekend, but the person who we booked wasn't actually around and had to meet us later on. They recommended a small club for us to go to until they could make it into the centre of Budapest. The interior of the club in question had been designed by someone with a massive fascination with the band Depeche Mode and meant that we went from like this to an hour later like this. But the next day we were up bright and early for Friday at the Hungarian Grand Prix! <laughs> On the Friday we got to see practice sessions for F3. sessions for F1.
takeaways from this practice session. A bit better. A bit wet in it. Thank you. Has intensified a bit. So I'm surprised if it comes back in. But also at the end of the day we got to see some filming of that Brad Pitt Apple F1 movie thing. Now Brad Pitt wasn't actually here because there's that actor's strike going on but apparently the stunt drivers don't count so they can do it. And these guys would actually be driving like all the time. Basically morning through night if there wasn't F3, F2 or F1 cars on the track these two cars would be on the track filming the same thing over and over and over again for what I imagine will be a very short portion of the actual film. Welshman Tom Price was one of racing's oh most popular Tom Price! 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 Saturday at a Grand Prix weekend means two things. Firstly, sprint races for F2 and F3, and secondly, qualifying for the F1. But before we got to any of that, we went to take a look at the F1 fan zone.
Then came the day we'd all been waiting for, Grand Prix Sunday. Sunday, just before the F1 race, we took a chance to try and find some shade 
See if you can guess what we're sat behind in this clip here. And we even got a quick visit from some local wildlife. But then it was time for the F1 race.
so with another win in the bag for Max Verstappen and Red Bull, all that was left on our adventure now was to just simply leave the car park. How hard could that be?